All right, it's coronavirus 24 seven and that is unlikely to change anytime soon. So I wanna do a quick video to try to drive home really two points. Uh, first point should be obvious. There are extraordinary opportunities in the market right now. Unfortunately, those opportunities coincide with something supremely negative and dangerous, a viral outbreak. It'd be great if that were different, but the world is what it is. We're investors, we're traders, we can only play the hand that we are dealt. Uh, second point, more important point, and maybe something that you can actually take some comfort in, you do not need to follow the outbreak to take advantage of the market opportunities that exist right now. That may sound absurd to a lot of people. I mean, how can anyone possibly make accurate forecasts when the markets are down five, six, seven percent one day, they're up five percent the next. Today, you know, as I'm recording this, S and P futures are limit down. That's the second time this week trading is is halted. I mean, we're told that COVID nineteen is the thing that's moving the market. How could anyone predict the kind of market panic that began last month without knowing that this market shock was coming? So. To answer this question, I thought I'd just kind of show you a small sample of the kinds of things that we look at to make our forecasts. I'm gonna show you two technical indicators. The first is a gauge of investor sentiment. The second is an Elliott wave structure. And these are the kinds of things that inform our forecasts in real time. And they don't rely on the news. They don't require a degree in, in epidemiology. They require a meticulous, tracking of human psychology, a tracking of the patterns by which humans move from optimism to pessimism and back again. That's the essence of the Elliott wave model. Okay, so this first chart is a great example of the kinds of things we were watching before China even detected its first case of coronavirus. We published this chart on December 6, 2019. All this is, it's a survey of investment advisors. That's the bottom graph. Top graph is the Dow Industrials back through late 2018. What this shows is that about 60% of advisors were bullish on shares. Now that doesn't sound terribly lopsided, but that was actually a 13 month extreme in this survey. And more important, the spread between the bulls and the bears, the spread ranked in the 95th percentile going back 30 years. So we cited that statistic at the time. We said the graph was showing this extremely lopsided bullishness, and that was a contrary signal that stocks were nearing a major peak. We forecast exactly that, called for a major event in the stock market. And again, that forecast came one month before anyone had ever heard of COVID-19. All right, so that's just basic contrary analysis though, right? Right. Everyone tries to be contrary. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Merely being contrary is not enough. It's unreliable as a strategy because going against the herd, going against the trend, the, the success of that strategy depends entirely on where you are within the trend. And that's one of the major components of the Elliott Wave model. It tells you precisely where you are within a trend. And the second chart illustrates that. We published this chart on January 10, 2020. So this was this was just a day or two after the WHO announced that, there, that they had identified a new virus. And this was still weeks before anyone knew coronavirus would be a problem, still about a month before the Dow and the S&P would finally top. And what we were looking at here was a very simple Elliott wave structure. This is a five wave advance off the low in March, 2009. I'll, I'll leave the details for another video, but all you need to know is that a complete five wave advance signals a reversal. And what's important here is when we see five waves up on a chart that spans more than a decade, we know that something big is about to happen in the market. And that's why we told subscribers, again, this is a month before the top, we said, now is the time to be prepared for a change of trend. And we said that, you know, very few investors were currently anticipating that trend change. Again, our method at its basic level, it relies on two things. Number one, we identify an Elliott wave structure. And number two, we confirm or deny that structure with the attending psychology. So at the start of the year, 
we had everything working for us. We had a complete wave structure to the upside. We had absurdly bullish sentiment readings. That was the deadly combination that allowed us to make a, a highly probable contrarian forecast. All right, so just to bring everyone up to the present, it's obviously not early January anymore. Stocks are no longer pushing all-time highs. They're down 20%. They're down 30% in some cases. Investors are no longer uniformly bullish. Many are scared. Uh, you know, how does that change our method? It actually doesn't change it at all. We do the same things we always do. We analyze wave structures in conjunction with the attending psychology. What we don't do is wait for no news about coronavirus. The markets are leading everything right now. If you wait for news about the virus to break, you're going to be chronically late and that will cost you.